help you use Stack Overflow. The first step will be to create an account in Stack Overflow. Go to stackoverflow.com, one word. You will see that. Uh, you will see a screen like the one I have. That's where you have to type. Now, what you will do is you will sign up. You can just click on your Google account and sign up with that. I advise to do that or with Facebook. Okay. Now, for purposes of this tutorial, I already have an account in Stack Overflow, so I'm going to sign a new one. I'm going to sign up a new one. So display name, it's going to be Pro Chop Chop. Something, anything, right? Your display name, whatever you want it, whatever you want it to be. And then your email. Um, I will put my email and then password. Okay, so password one two three period. Password one two three period. All right, and then here sometimes you get a captcha. Just need to do that, and then you click sign up. This will send an email to your account in order for you to activate it. Okay. And, and then you go activate it and you're ready to log in. Email which had a link, I clicked on the link and it brought me here. This is the page where you end. Here's whatever name you want to display, you can change your picture, you can do whatever you want here, you know, in your profile and you complete the registration. So here's a little how to use uh, Stack Overflow. I suggest you read it. I'm going to give you the, the very skinny of it uh, with a couple of things. The first thing you want to do is go to your profile and pay attention here. This is your user ID. Is your user ID. You might need it sometimes. Um, you might need it to give it to your to your professor, your instructor if, if you're using this for a class. Okay? Here you'll see your activity, you have zero answers, you have one reputation, you have zero questions, zero tags, here's your account and badges, okay? So when you want to post a question, for example, let's try and post a question. Let's, um, I'm sorry, let's try to go browse the questions. Here are all the questions out there, okay? You can also look for the, the unanswered questions, let's see which questions are unanswered. There's a lot of questions here, many on topics that you don't know about, okay? So perhaps you want to you wanna search questions. For example, you want to search, uh, I don't know, Java, if Java is your thing, and then you're searching the unanswered questions that have Java, okay? So you can see it all there. Uh, and here, it, there's a tag. You know the tag Java. You can you can add more tags and you can add favorite tags here for your questions. Okay, to see if you can answer them or if you can post a question. If you want to ask a question, you click on the Ask a Question button, and then the first thing that Stack Overflow wants you to do is look for the answers to your question. So first, do the research, right? Do your research, and then let's say you want to know how to prevent um, the new line character uh, in, in the scanner class. This might be a question. And here might be answers to this, okay? Now let's say you didn't find what you were looking for, for whatever reason, you didn't find what you were looking for. So then what you will want to do is post the question. Here, these are these are all guidelines here, so you can click proceed. Proceed there, and then, uh, oops, thanks. I'll keep this in mind. Proceed. Now, we didn't find anything, and here you can pose your question. So, I created a scanner and a new line uh, sneaks in. Here's my code, and then you can put the code. You know, new scanner. Um, for example, this right, KB equals new scanner. Whatever language you're using, I'm just using this as illustration, right? And then you say KB dot next 
system dot out dot print line kb dot next prints a new line for example all right this might be completely wrong any help is of use so when you have this you can format this with code with this little uh, braces and you can see that your question is going to show up a little bit like this okay now you can add text to this so Java for example you hit comma and then that's that's Java and you can add if this is for a homework for example, you can click homework. And then there's a lot of available tabs and, and the tags and some, some are not available. And then you click on post your question. I'm gonna discard this question because it's it's um it's really badly phrased, it's just completely a bogus. So I'm gonna discard the question. But you should post it, right? You should post your question like this. Um, <clears throat> if you find a question, I'm gonna go to questions and I'm gonna look for questions. I'm gonna add a favorite tag. Um, Java homework, for example, and I'm going to look for. Oops, you're on the and there are no unanswered tabs at the moment with the tab homework. How about Java, right? There's a lot. Now let's say I know the answer to some of these questions. Say, let me see. Um, I know the answer. This is you. You have to. You have to um, browse for questions if you want to answer some. But let's say I know the answer to this one. Okay, after reading it, after reading the code of the poster, I can vote this question up or down if it's a good question or a bad question. Like if I think the person didn't do his research or her research, then I probably want to vote it down. If I think this is a great question that's helping a lot of people, I can vote it up, and so on and so forth. I can edit a comment here. Uh, there's one more comment here. I can add a comment, okay? Oops, I must have 50 reputation to add a comment. This means that I can add a comment as long as I have posted answers or asked questions that have gotten me 50 reputation points. 50 reputation points are very easy to come by. Just post a good question or give uh, some sort of an answer and you're almost there. Now, I can answer this question. I, I can start answering it and then click on post my answer. That's how you answer questions. This is how you post comments. And now you know how to post questions. Look at the reputation. It's going to be changing all the time. And remember, when you click on your profile, this will be your user ID. And you can change uh, profile and settings and whatnot. OK, this ends the very quick introduction to Stack Overflow. Don't forget to read the help link.